Today we're going to be building an entire team full of MVPs, but there's a twist. Because nothing's ever easier, we're going to have to guess for every single potential MVP that we add onto this team. Speaking of teams, we're actually going to need one to house potentially one of the greatest teams in history. So please, Will, give me something decent. Give me a good division, something as we get the Houston Astros. Okay, and that's a huge help because the two goals that we have for this team is one to obviously win the MVP. And whoever wins the MVP is going to be crowned the GOAT of all GOATs for MVPs in all of baseball. And then no challenge of mine is ever complete without winning the world series so of course we got to win that as well these nine boxes are either gonna make or break this entire team and let's just start out hot in the middle number three what do you got for me this mvp is the first of a 40 home run 70 stolen base season who is he oh my gosh wait we actually get a multiple choice here we got ricky henderson ronald Cunha jr lou brock or ichiro i know for sure lou brock did not have 40 i know for sure ichiro didn't have 40 and i got 10 seconds left okay yeah i know who this is ronald Cunha jr there we go i didn't think i was gonna be on the clock for this but ronald let's go baby welcome the team first mvp down in our right field is looking stacked up now next up i'm nervous i'm going lucky number seven please come on which mvp from the 2000s had the highest war a mike trout b mookie betts c aaron judge and d barry bonds yo this is test my ball knowledge i don't think barry bonds won an mvp in the 2000s mike trout for sure is a good pick mookie betts a good pick aaron judge is a good pick oh my gosh wait please no no i want to go mike i want to go mike but i think it's mookie Oh my gosh. My heart is pounding way too hard for this type of video. The reason why I'm so nervous is because if we actually get one of these questions wrong, instead of adding an MVP like Ronald Acuna Jr., we have to go out and add the worst player in our organization, which just happens to be JC Correa at 52 overall. No, thank you. I'm trying to win a World Series. Mookie Betts is going to fit beautifully in the AL West. Next question. I'm feeling number four. Let's go number four. Which MVP won the award and broke the single season home run record in the same year? That one is so incredibly easy. The reason why that's so easy is it literally just happened practically. Aaron Judge. Let's go, baby. This outfield is going to be disgusting, dude. I need way more questions like that. That thing was so incredibly easy. But now that I say that, watch me actually get this one wrong. Let's just go with number one. What do we got? Who is the last MVP, but sadly ringless? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Okay. We got Miguel Cabrera, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers, I don't think he's ringless. I think he was on the 2018 team. Bryce Harper is ringless and he did win the MVP, but oh my gosh, Shohei Otani. I got to go Shohei. Let's go, baby. And that threw me off completely. But thank goodness we get to add him onto this team. This team already. Mookie Betts, Ron Acuna Jr., Shohei Otani, and Aaron Judge. Let's keep it going. My hand's hot right now. I'm kind of cooking. Number eight. Let's go, baby. Which MVP won the award but was traded a year later? Oh, my God. Who would this be? Josh Donaldson? No. Mookie Betts? I already have Mookie Betts. JT Ramuto and Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger wasn't traded. JT was traded, but uh, he's never won the MVP. Josh Donaldson has won the MVP. I just don't know if he was traded. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? What? Josh Donaldson, screw it. No, it had to be Mookie, but I already have Mookie Betts on the team. I think I just got scammed, but JC Correa, congrats, dude. You're on the team now. I'm a little salty at the boxes for scamming me. So real quick, we're going to be spinning from the wheel of positions and we're going to be getting our MVP from there for this one. There's still a chance we get like a relief pitcher who's never won an MVP and we're going to get left field. We already have a boatload of outfielders, but I'm down. Since I'm able to pick, I think we got to go with Cody Bellinger. Could play left field. The guy's all the way back. I think we got to get him. Let's do one more spin because I need somebody for the infield shortstop. That's perfect. Somehow the last shortstop to win an MVP was Jimmy Rollins out in 2007. So Jimmy, welcome to the team. Cannot believe you're here, but I'm happy to have you. Let's go. I am very scared for my catcher because I cannot remember the last time my catcher won the MVP. We got four questions left, so I think we gotta go. You know, I'm gonna go number two. Why not? Let's do it. He's won three MVPs, but only been to the playoffs once. Ronald Acuna Jr., Clayton Kershaw, Aaron Judge, no. Josh Donaldson, Shohei Otani, or Mike Trout. No, it's Mike Trout. It's gotta be Mike Trout. Has to be. There we go, baby. I hate being on the clock for these questions because, oh my gosh, it is so scary. But Michael, oh my gosh, welcome to this MVP team. Next question, I think we got number three. Who is the last MVP in Marlins history? This one, oh my gosh, this one's gonna be tough. We got Miguel Cabrera, but I don't think he's the last one. We got Jose Fernandez, who I don't think won the MVP and RIP. Oh my gosh, we got six seconds left, dude. It's gotta be Giancarlo Stanton. I got nothing but dots here, but I'm telling you it's Giancarlo. It has got to be Giancarlo Stanton. On November 16th, Giancarlo Stan won the National League MVP. Thank God I got that one right. But wait, is, where the heck is Giancarlo going to go? We literally have no more space besides catching in third base. This is a huge problem. He might be riding the bench. Giancarlo Stan back in an orange uniform. I never thought I'd see the day, to be honest. But dude, 81 overall? now. Nah, can't have an 81 overall on the all MVP team. Now, this is the Giancarlo Stan I remember. I had to keep the nine speed, though. We only got two spots left and ironically, two questions. Who was the last MVP to win the triple crown? 
crown? Oh my God, triple crown. It's happened in my lifetime. I know that, so it's not Ted Williams. And it's also not Mickey Mantle. I don't think Mike Trout's won the triple crown, which is crazy. I could be completely wrong. I do know Miguel Cabrera won it though, because I remember that, what, in 2012 or something? I'm going Miggy with one second left, and there we go, Miggy. My heart, I gotta take a second. I gotta get some food or something. Millions of people, including myself, constantly choose junky snack food over foods that are just better for you. And that's due to junk food being so easy to eat. That's why Factor is here to change that. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easier, which has been so clutch, especially when I got a lot of work to do during the day and I really don't want to focus on what I'm going to eat. Having something in my fridge that not only tastes good, but is good for me is always so nice. Factor's restaurant quality meals are ready to heat and eat whenever you are in two minutes. Factor has over 35 different meal options per week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, and vegan plus veggie. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day. Besides the meals, personally, my favorite is actually the smoothies. Either are perfect for me, especially when I'm researching video ideas or in between recording. So head to factor75.com or just click the link below and use my promo code RGS50 for 50% off your first box and two free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. So head over to factor75.com, use code RGS50 for 50% off your first factor box. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get back to it. All right, Miguel, where are you at? Is he not in the game anymore because he retired? There's no shot. This guy was a cover athlete. They actually took him out. Oh my gosh, I got to make him. What? <laughs> what the heck? This is going to be so cursed, but Brian Arias, congratulations. You're the new Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera, welcome to the all MVP team. This just looks so wrong. I made him a beast though, and I added probably about 100 pounds to the poor guy. <laughs> Question up, let's please ace it. I've gotten one wrong, which I'm still mad about, so let's please get this last one right. Who is the last first baseman to win MVP? VP. Got Miguel Cabrera. He's already on our team, so it's not him. Joey Votto. That's actually a really good one. Oh, gosh. But wait, there we go. Freddie Freeman and Paul Goldschmidt. It's got to be one of those two. Freddie Freeman, I think, won it during the COVID year in 2020, but Paul Goldschmidt, I'm pretty sure, won it like 2021 or 2022. I'm going Paulie, and there we go. The team is now set. My gosh, am I concerned about our catcher? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I completely forgot. There was an MVP that was a catcher, and that's Buster Posey, I think, back in 2012. I don't know how the heck he slipped my mind, but I do remember Buster Posey winning the MVP. Problem is, he's not in this game. And I really can't make him either because he wasn't an answer to any of the questions that we had. So technically, I gotta roll out with one of these MVPs playing catcher. Wait a minute, JC. Oh my, JC Correa. There is no way your secondary position's catcher. Oh, okay. You know what? Hey, the 52 overall's going in. I don't care. Team is looking amazing and locked and loaded, ready to go. Now we're looking for two things. One, the MVP award. Who the heck is gonna be crowned the GOAT of all the MVPs? And then hopefully win the World Series, even though there's a lot of guys on this team that can show. Coming up to the end of the year with the All-MVP team, please tell me we're going to break the record and we tie the MLB win record. With an entire offense practically of MVPs, we tie it. We can't even break it. Awards real quick. It all comes down to this. Who's going to get crowned the GOAT of all the MVPs? I haven't looked at anybody, but if I had to be honest, I'm thinking Shohei Otani. I think it's got to be him. He's in his prime right now. He's so good. Let's see what we got. Hank Aaron Ward going to Ronald Cooney Jr. Okay, I like that. Rookie of the year going to Miguel Cabrera. American League MVP, Shohei Otani. Otani. There we go. I told you guys. Shohei Otani is just too much of a cheat code. Even though if I'm being honest, uh, he did not deserve to win this at all. When Mookie Betts did this, he definitely didn't win the MVP from the batting side. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll crown the GOAT just because he was my prediction as well. Before we get into the postseason, I gotta know one thing. How did our boy JC Correa do? He's up to a 55. I do like to see that. What do you got for us, JC? All right, dude. Yeah, you no. Uh-uh. So let's just let's just move on, dude. Let's just move on. Rangers up first in the ALDS. Let's see how this goes. And oh my gosh, we're going to game five. Romber, you better win this one versus Jacob DeGrom. Thank God, bro. Oh my goodness. How the heck were we about to lose that series? Toronto up now in the ALCS. Let's get this thing going. Lance McCullers game one. Won that one 32. Christian Javier versus Chris Bassett. Won that one as well. Thank goodness. Show how you got a 2-0 lead. Make that 3 out of them. Romber, there we are, baby. Straight into the World Series versus another team of practically all MVPs. Even though we stole practically all of them, we got the Dodgers coming out. Somehow another Houston versus Dodgers World Series. I don't know how the heck we keep getting in this. Let's go, Dodgers. Let's dance a little bit. Romber up first versus Yoshinobu. One that one three to two, though. Thank goodness. Shohei. One that one 12 to four versus team. McCullers versus Glass now. One that one 10 to two. We got it going for the last one. Who are we going to be getting? I'm closing my eyes. Who the heck are we going to be getting? And we got Giancarlo Stan. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. We might as well go out against Clayton Kershaw and get Giancarlo his first ever World Series. Please let that thing carry. Come on. 
And of course, it's not going to. Top of the fifth, and Clayton Kershaw is actually pitching a gem in the World Series. We are not about to lose this game. So, Giancarlo, let's lock it in. Let's go. We're back to 2017, Giancarlo. Come on, baby. Come on. That's it. As that's a single through the infield gap. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're on base. We've made it all the way to third base, but now there's two outs. Please, Jimmy Rollins, I need you right here, right now to hit us in. Got the 2-2. Two -two. Just do not strike out for the love of everything. Six to two. Are we serious? And that's a ground ball to shortstop. All right. Yeah, we actually lost this game. That is wild. We lost this game. I could not let us take the loss like that. So I went back into Shohei Otani. And when we needed Shohei the most, my boy showed out. Oh my God, Shohei. To the moon right there, Shohei Otani. Oh, double down the line. Please score the guy. Please score him. Please score him. Please send him. Let's go. We're sending him. Come on. Get down. Get down. Top of the ninth. 11 to 2. I think we got it in the bag. If we blow this lead, I will jump out that window right there under my bushes. We should be all set. Please, Astros. Please. Come on. Come on, MVP team. There we go. There we are. World Series championship for the all MVP squad, making us one of the best teams in LB history. And Mookie Betts ended up getting that World Series MVP. If you guys like this video, leave a like on it and subscribe down below. And be sure to check out this one right here because I know you're going to love it. I promise. Go over there. Just click it.